Namaskar. My name is Sudeshil Ghosh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am teaching Tinkercad on YouTube. Today we are going to see another connection on the breadboard. We are trying to control the speed of the DC motor using a variable resistance using the breadboard. We have done that exercise without using the breadboard. Now we will use the breadboard because the connections are a bit different. Okay, let us start with our circuit. So we'll press the create button here. We'll go into the circuits as we go in. It has opened the working area. This is the working area here. And all the elements that you can see here, they are all the components that we can use. We will start with the breadboard. We'll bring in the breadboard now. We will need a variable resistance. We'll put it here. We will need a battery, the power source, we will put it here. We will need a DC motor, we will put it also here. Okay, and that's it. We will also need a slide switch. Okay, as we can tell you earlier, we can also tell you here, because if we put any component on this particular line, this is going to cause a problem. So, for example, the motor, if I put it on this line, both the terminal 1 and terminal 2, are on the same place so there will be no potential difference between the two if we connect the battery negative terminal here and the positive terminal here because the negative terminal will be shared through this row there will not be any potential difference between the two and therefore the current is not going to flow so what we are going to do now is we are going to connect the motor like this we'll put the motor somewhere here Fine. Now, we want to control the speed of the motor using the variable resistance. Again, the variable resistance will need to be placed here. If we place it on this row or this row, there will not be any potential difference and therefore, there will be a problem. Okay, next is we will try to use the switch. And of course, the switch, like the motor, like the motor and the potentiometer, will need to be placed here now we'll connect the battery terminals the first thing that we'll do is we will try to connect the negative terminal here okay and we can make this beautiful like this and we'll try to connect the positive terminal here on this particular line good so when we have done that now remember that if we have connected the positive terminal like this. The positive terminal is shared throughout this row. And similarly, the negative terminal is shared throughout this row. My job now is to connect this particular terminal of the, of the motor to the positive terminal of the battery. So how will I do that? It is very simple. We will take the connection from this particular terminal of the motor to the terminal 1 of the potentiometer. We will take the connection from here to the first terminal of the switch. Okay, so basically the connection is traveling from terminal 2 to terminal 1 of the register from the wiper of the resist of the variable resistance to the first terminal and from the this terminal we are going to connect it to the positive terminal. We will click here and we'll take it here and from here we are going to connect it to the positive terminal so what has happened now the positive terminal comes from here goes here comes to this particular point now goes here and therefore now from here it goes here and then through the switch it comes here and through this particular wire it comes to this place and then from here to here it goes like this okay so this is going to act as the resistance element in between now since we have completed the connection of the red terminal to this red terminal here we are going to connect the negative terminal of the battery to the motor so how can we do that we'll take the connection from here and we'll take it to here and then we'll take the connection from here to there so therefore what has happened here the negative terminal the connection travels from this particular terminal 
to this particular place and through this wire it comes here through this wire it comes to this particular terminal one so let us now run the simulation let us see what happens we'll start the simulation now okay and we can see that there is some zero resistance now because this is expressing zero resistance and as we move apart move further move further with the motor will become slower and slower we can see this is happening and uh, you might be wondering why this is becoming so slow so fast so you can see here that this resistance is written as 250 kilo ohm so we can stop this and we'll put the value of the resistance to be 10 kilo ohm and let us see what happens we'll start the simulation so you can see the speed of the motor now we can speed the speed the speed of the motor now of course this you can see the speed of the motor now so we can see we have been able to regulate the speed of the motor by using the variable resistance so i hope you have understood what i have explained in this video thank you for attending to this video thank you for watching this video if you are new to my channel and you have liked this video please like share and subscribe to my channel we'll stop the simulation here now